Hi, everyone. Welcome to Queer Talk. I'm Justin. Hello, everyone. I'm Eddie. Happy whatever day this is. What are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about today? Life. Okay. Let's talk. At what point do we just let people be who they are? If I can somehow try and answer that, I, I think it depends on where you are in your life and how content, confident you are with your life. Mm -hmm. Because letting people respond means you have to be okay with with what their response is mm -hmm. and not have any expectations mm -hmm. it's a good question yeah if you reverse that and say okay so you know if i want to be who i am um and people don't like it you know what do you do you know, yeah. you you just say, well, you know what? Sorry, that's that's who I am, and you know, finding that that fine line between being who you are and also being kind. Mm -hmm. What would your answer be to uh, letting people be who they are? I think it's hard sometimes to let people be who they are because we have expectations of people. I've learned you know, the hard way many times with people. And I've lost many friendships. Mm -hmm. You know, I haven't had relationships, but I've had many friendships. And a lot of it was because I, I didn't allow people to be themselves. And I couldn't accept them the way because I had expectations and there's things that I wanted. Mm -hmm. So that that is interesting. Like that idea of like what well what about what I want like so I, I'm I'm bringing this up only also because I went I saw the movie I saw yesterday was called Inspection and it's the can director you your, can you move your I, I need a little less head, headroom okay great thanks it was directed and written by Elegance Branton who we did a little yeah. feature on when when they did the the peer the Christopher Peer video or documentary and it's fantastic I mean he talked about it a little of it in that interview that he was working on this future project that was based on his own life yeah. working in the greens <clears throat> but at the end of the movie there's this one scene with the mom who has a real big issue with his lifestyle and a part of that is him being gay and she says something to the effect of like well what about what i wanted as a mother for my son like you didn't turn out the way i wanted you to turn out mm -hmm. and i'm just like I don't know to me that was just so delusional like but yet that's what most people think that like yes. that yes. their their that 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 their expectations of people are like more important than what that person actually feels or or wants or desires a mother saying that is like wow what about the fact that your son is happy yeah it's like but when you and it, it works in relationships too like we we're just saying these these expectations that we have i don't know i think they'll always be a little bit disappointing listen it's unrealistic and you said earlier that to not have expectations we're going to have expectations the key is to not to 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 not be disappointed if you don't get what you expect. Mm -hmm. And this goes back to what I was saying about friendships. I mean, it took me a long time in our friendship to to hear you and believe you when mm -hmm. you said, like there's not going anywhere. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. There's nothing that I can say that's going to choke me up here. I've never had a friend like that. 
Mm. I've never had it. So I didn't, I didn't believe it. Fair. And I, I believe it. And it's like, mm -hmm. the point I'm trying to make here is that we accept each other how we are. Mm -hmm. We also, we accept, you're evolving. You know, you're so not the you. person that I knew two, three years ago, and neither am I. And, and it's been hard for me for friendships. And it is for people out there. You know, I think, I know people come into our lives for a reason. And if you can accept that and accept that it may be for a short time, yeah, you know, um, then you'll be okay when they're not in your life. When do we, how do we, how do we accept people who they are? As they are, yeah. Let people be themselves. And you know what? If you don't like it, and that's where I've come to, too. It's like, okay, there are friendships that I don't have because I couldn't accept the way they are. I didn't like who they who they were. And mm -hmm. that's fine. Move that's on. Fine. Yeah. Even if, you, even if it's been a friend for years and years and years. Yeah. You know, that's part of it. The other part is just being, which is the more difficult part, is being comfortable in your own skin. And mm -hmm. that's what's happening to you. That you're, because of the people you're meeting and the job that you have and the, what's happening to you. I mean, we never stop learning, but a big part of that is letting go. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it's about you. It's about us. What, what, how do we feel? We don't, we, nobody likes to hurt somebody. No. You know, and I think that how many times do you have to explain yourself and how many times do you have to go through this yeah at some point you have like to you said yourself. before yeah. if somebody doesn't understand you it's it, it's okay you don't you don't understand me and that's fine or what i did hurt you and that is something that you like use as evidence to say this is not a person that I want to be around or this this person doesn't bring me joy and love and I just have to accept that 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 is how I'm going to be perceived at times and I say that because you know my perception is different but I I can accept that they feel um differently about me even if it wasn't my intention, it comes down to just um, comes to you feeling confident and okay with you, uh, you know, to move on. Yeah, and I think that's until you feel like within yourself confident in that idea that you that they may not love you or like you or or understand you that that's i think like the interesting duality of life is that you you can you it's there's a there's this fine line of understanding that like they don't fully understand you but in order for you to be true to who you want to be um you may have to let go of them understanding you because I think that's where a cycle can start to to form where you feel like you have to keep explaining yourself so when you can let go of trying to explain yourself to the world and just be yourself knowing that not everybody will understand you I think there's freedom in that the the interesting nuance to that though is that you will have to at least from my experience you will also have to accept then that there will be moments for for yourself because I can say that I have felt them where I am a little disappointed or um you can even get sad about the fact that it didn't work out and then that's okay but like if we avoid those emotions then they you know find you'll they'll they'll come back later if you don't deal with them now so it's I guess I want to say it's okay to feel disappointed or sad that something didn't work or wasn't like successful. Um, but that 
accepting that they that there are two different perspectives here and that they you, they may not understand you is part of the letting go you know in asking the question how do we do that you have to figure out and which is what we're we're I'm at, and I think we go through it throughout our lives, is figuring out how to be happy with our lives. And happy is yeah. a strong word. I don't like the word happy. To be content with our lives. How do you get there? It's a big question. Yeah, it's a big question because there's every day is a different day. Like there's days when you feel more confident in your execution of your choices. And then there's other days when you question them more. And so that's where I, and I've said this in previous episodes too, like I'm really focusing on just like reading my own body, reading my own instincts, nudges, urges, even if I don't understand them fully, but that's just where I, that's just where I am. Because I think from my journey, I've spent so many years listening to external advice and there's nothing wrong with that but I do think there's something to be said about having a really strong connection to like my own and when you do have that or when you work with that when you even when you see things that trigger you or you're like oh I'm like disappointed by that you have a strong sense of self to help you navigate through those like uncomfortable feelings like because you don't require them all the time to like make you feel better but you still might feel sad about it yeah i mean and i totally agree with you you know i i i say to people it's okay to like like you just said it's okay to feel sad it's okay to be disappointed the the kids don't have it last too long you know right you know i just want the answer Yes. And and there's people out there is like, okay, you guys are blah, 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 blah. What's the answer? Yeah. How do I get there? How do I, how do I get content? How do I be happy with myself? What do I do? How do I like, you know, and, and it's like, I want to give people an answer, but you know, you, you, what I, I liked what you said. It's, it's, it's inside. It's you know, inside. I'm, how many times do you hear like you can have a coach and nothing wrong with that? No, nope. you, can, you can you can therapist, you can a therapist, you can read stuff, you can yep. go to retreats, you can. <sighs> but like I said last episode, like take those things and see what they spark in you. Like, where does it lead you? You read something, you get inspired, you want to what? Where does that lead you? I think. Like uh, all these commercials, like, it's so bizarre to me, especially in America, it's even worse. But like the drug commercials where it's literally like, it's like they think we have no concept of our own body. It's like, buy this thing and you can you can figure out what your heart is telling you. Like, what would you do without this thing? And I, my response is always like, can you just feel your own body? Like, you don't need a machine to tell you how your body's feeling. Like, and yet I think that people have been conditioned to believe that they actually don't have access to the information that has always been inside them because they're, they're like, oh, I'll just get this thing. Or like the Fitbit watch. It's like, know all there is to know about your body from this little thing. I'm like, how about you just feel your body? Like, if something's not feeling right, like address it. Like, like, and but here's one of the problems. One of the challenges with people is there's a lot of people out there who don't like to be alone. And yeah. it means being alone. They, they have to be doing something or with somebody, whatever. So listening to yourself could I mean, be scary. Listening to your body is is the easier of the two. I don't know if that's always easy though, because it, I think people aren't necessarily listening. It's let me put it this way: it's easier than the other part of going inside to listen to what it's saying about 
what's going to make me happy mm. and you know i you you know i teach meditation and i i mean i'm off and on with it but but you know i struggle with it i struggle to meditate because it means it means it's uncomfortable to mm. be alone with your thoughts and to because your, your your mind is going all over the place that's why people don't know well, i can't i can't you know i can't focus because i'm always thinking mm -hmm. yeah that happens but then yeah. those moments when you have clarity and whatever you want to believe god your guides whatever you know speaks to you mm -hmm. the other problem there is that that <laughs> people don't listen to what it says because they're afraid yeah i think that like following through with your instincts takes courage because you it may be going against what you're hearing from other people yeah. uh, who knows what it is it just it may not always be comfortable and it it does take often courage to just like believe in it without somebody confirming it for you yes so, so again, it's there's no there's no simple answer, but oh. the 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 simple way we can say it is what you said. You have to you have to go inside and you have to listen. Mm -hmm. we're, both, we're both saying that whether we have to listen to ourselves, you know, mentally, physically, um, and it and it it's it's can be very lonely. Yeah. I think that's um we've we've alluded to this a couple of times in these episodes that like getting to a place where loneliness and being alone isn't always negative I think is a, is an important again this comes back to the duality of life that we're always in connection with everything around us humans nature everything our technology all of these things we're con in connection with all the time but at the end of it we're always alone as in my mind is separate from yours. So as much as I can spend time with you, see you on these calls that we have, text each other, we're in connection with each other. But at the end of the day, like you go to bed with your own mind, your own body, your own thoughts. And so there has to be an acceptance, I think, of, of being alone to some degree. We did talk about with the with that with the um, heavy petting. Yeah, all of you haven't watched that yet. Please do because it's amazing. Yeah. And then our interview with um, Brandon was about loneliness. Yeah, you know, to your point, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there might be both. Yeah, there's people who just don't want to be alone because then they have to experience loneliness mm -hmm. or they have to as part of like being afraid to be alone because you'll experience loneliness is is that you haven't fully accepted like just yourself like the base of being you which is have you accepted that that's enough like that there's nothing you have to change you don't have to work on anything you as you in this moment is enough for yourself and so spending time with that version of you in my opinion is enough absolutely and and you i'm pretty sure it was you that said this and i'm, I'm trying to say the right way to say you can tell me you know about how the the the, the people who are supposed to come into your life they won't get by you or something how do you how did yeah you what's meant for you won't pass you by what's meant for you won't pass you by mm -hmm. if you can just get that accept that one thing mm -hmm. you know you can say that about everything in life and that's not to say you don't like oh i don't have to try anymore yeah. i don't have to do anything because it's not gonna pass you by no it's that what where you feel the nudge where you end up who you pass on the street who turns around who texts you back who doesn't text you back who re responds in a certain way like it's all leading you to what's meant for you in this journey for your experience 
what comes to me right now is like let life speak to you let's take that example of on the street well if you're going down the street and you pass by somebody how are you going to know unless you turn around if the, and if they mm -hmm. turn around and you smile and you stop it's like okay that was meant they weren't meant to pass you by if you turn around they're not looking okay yeah it's maybe disappointing yeah you just keep moving that wasn't meant to be and that yeah I, I gotta tell you how huge that is that, mm. that has really helped me me too you know and and so and i think it's that you accept that even when you do that for me it's accepting that even when i i remind myself what's done for me is not gonna pass me by it still can be disappointing in the moment of course i still had it this like weekend like expecting someone to message me and, and wanting there to be an exchange that wasn't happening and it was it was like i could tell i was like trying to make it happen and i was like and in the moment it felt heightened in terms of the emotions uh but today i can be like oh yeah that wasn't meant to be you can think about it you can try you can you know, you can in, in, in a relationship, and I was just thinking about, you know, like parents, people who have, you know, you can try. Mm -hmm. But then let it go. Then, yeah. You know, if that person, whoever it is, or or that situation is, is meant to be in your life, it's it's going to happen. And yeah, and if it's different, like you brought up the parents, and this ties right back to what I said at the beginning about inspection, and this mother who's like, well, what about what I want? This is the this is life. What I want may not be what everybody else or someone else necessarily wants. And and that's an opportunity for for me to accept that that's not the same. That could lead to a comp a, a conversation and you could compromise. Mm -hmm. You know, and and you could at least try. And if that if that person, that mother still says at the end of the conversation, no, it's not what I it's not who I wanted you to be, then okay, sorry. Which is yeah. comes to a parent, but but yeah. you know, friendships or or whatever. I, I I it doesn't mean you're just like, well, you know, fuck you, this is who I am and this is what I want, and, and that, no. It doesn't mean that it, 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 if you really, you know, want somebody in your life, you, you have to make the effort. But at some point, if it's not working, you have to move on. Yeah. But so I'm, we're not, we're cer certainly not saying that, oh, okay. Like I said, walking down the street, if you're not going to look, how are they supposed to be in your life? Unless they, yeah. unless you're walking down and they, turn around they come up to you and tap you on the shoulder it's like if you want to you know you 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 we also said in the beginning of this conversation that you know you had a date with someone that you met on an app well had you not gone on the app you know people say oh that person is you know is, is, is supposed to be nice it's supposed to be in your life they'll be in your life yes that's true but you still you can't sit around you know, on your yeah. couch at home and, and wait for someone to knock at the door. Yeah. You, you have to go on the app and try and meet someone, but there too, without expectations. Yeah. Because that's a whole nother topic we're going to have sometime about these apps. Yeah. You know, there's, it can be so damaging. Yeah. You know, but if you're comfortable with yourself and you're just like, okay, if it's meant to be, they're going to respond and yeah. we're going to go out on a date. Mm hmm so why don't we end this with that i think so that and feels like the right way to end our ted talk for today I mean, they're, they're, well they're queer talks we're queer they're talks queer ted talks they're queer but no but ted ted you know let's have our own let's have our own we they're should think of a name. different name why ted why not like um teddy our teddy talks Teddy to me is like sort of the gay queer way of like saying Teddy or sorry, Ted. Ted's like straight. Ted's like yeah. a straight guy. Yeah. Whereas Teddy, Teddy's like an adorable, 
you know, it's teddy bear, it's daddy, it's dad, it's dad. It's like it, there's layers to that. We're having teddy talks. All right. Well, that ends our teddy talk for today. Yeah. Um, leave your comments saying, yeah. and questions in the in the comment section below. We'll 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 read them. And um, we'll see you next week with another Teddy Talk. With another Teddy Talk. And remember, as always, keep it queer. There you go. Yeah. Duh. Keep it very queer. Queerest you could be. That's what the world needs. Okay, everyone, don't forget to watch Heavy Petting. And our interview with Brendan. Put the link there and um, see ya. See ya.